Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some internal corners using the Tape Pro uh, semi-automatic tools, um, including this here, the Tape Pro compound tube, which is basically a giant syringe. Uh, so just before there, I sucked up a load of plaster by pulling the pull, pull rod out of the tube, and it sucks up the plaster, and then just doing the opposite, pushing the pull rod as I run the compound tube up the wall. Uh, we'll just create a beautiful bead of plaster on either side there. Real fast, real easy. And I can normally get about six, seven or eight internal corners out of one fill. And we'll just put that back down there. And I've cut on my paper tape, ready to go. You know, I can just install that there easy enough. So the compound tube is great for getting plaster on all your internals uh, rather than doing it by hand which takes a lot longer. Uh, so I use this for all my upright internals. If I'm doing square stop where the walls meet the ceilings, um, great for that too and 2.4 stud you know I can just work off the floor which is a bonus because I'm pretty tall so we'll just get all our paper tape in there fold the paper tape in half and just put that in then we'll just come back keeping my tools and buckets of water there just to keep them clean and we're just going to use the tape pro roller as you can see there four wheels two wheels do each side of the internal and we'll just run that up and down the internal there always start in the middle work up and down just to get the any creases out um, you start it at the top and work towards the middle you that's when you sort of end up with a crease in the center there but starting from the center and working your way out pushing the tape outwards don't need to push it too hard it's nice and easy then we'll come back in here we'll, We'll just come back here and finish off with our Tape Pro corner finisher. And this has got two blades on it, um, so it just creates a beautiful finish. And we just gotta run that up and down there and get a little press on there and just press the compound on over the tape. And it just fans it off beautifully and gives a nice clean edge. Just feathers it off beautifully. So it's all about getting the right consistency uh, of mud on and the right amount of mud just to cover that tape. So you've not got too much and not got too less. So you just want to have the perfect amount. You can see there how easy it is. I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. Just a couple of passes and then come down. See there, just need to press a bit harder just to feather off those edges. Absolutely beautiful. Last one here. We'll just pop that back in the bucket of water just to keep clean so the compound doesn't sort of start drying out or going hard on the tools and then I like to just come back and just clean up the bottoms and run up the edges there sometimes it's fine just to leave it as it is uh, just on this one here well, it was quite late in the day and I was coming back the next day to coat up the internals again so I just wanted to just clean off any excess just to make sure they dried out in time you can see there just they look pretty good at just that little touch up there take off any excess and just by doing this as well once they're dry they're all ready to go for their next coat they don't need any sort of cleaning off or sanding so that's the tape pro compound tube 
followed by the tape pro roller and then the corner finisher. So just for beating in tape into my internals. Beautiful setup and does a lovely job. So hope you enjoyed this little video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.